namaste welcome back welcome if you're new i am so foolish girl let's get into this reading i had to pause and rewind like twice because the energy was i don't know it was just feeling kind of personal a new door is opening your wish fulfillment is granted on the other side tapping in with my spiritual confirmation deck there we go something that you have been like literally working so hard towards to the point that you've already put it in the back of your mind that this is something that's going to happen in the distant horizon but it's actually going to be happening much sooner than you think and a lot of joy and happiness I'm also hearing gratitude, appreciation is coming your way. Someone's going to show you just how special, how great you are. Your success is triggering the hell out of their childhood trauma. I mean, honestly, there is some, you know, whenever there's darkness, there is, whenever there's light, there's darkness looming by you know you, you really can't have the dark without the light. Anyway, that's just what I believe. We're always going to have some sort of opposition that is just the laws of the universe right but here's the thing your success what you're about to accomplish you can't worry about what other people have to say about it what they're gonna think and what they already think they need to believe in their dreams they need to manifest their wish fulfillment your money, your success shouldn't be their problem, but it is. It is. When you say no with love, you create a paradigm shift of spiritual and material wealth. I love it. So someone is here really understanding boundaries and spirituality. The gift of giving and reciprocity is coming through because I'm seeing the temperance card. There should be an equal balance. And if you're feeling depleted, if you're feeling like, you know, maybe you don't have enough to give or you've been giving so much that you just don't want to be dealing with people, you, it's, you, you, you can say no. Just make sure that you say no with love. Because oftentimes when we try to close a door because there is a new door opening and I don't want you guys to take that old energy with you. When a new door is opening up, your wish fulfillment is on the other side. You say no, that same energy that you said no to like in a very negative way, that energy is going to come back in a different form, right? Because that's what energy does, right? Someone spiritually close to you is constantly sending you sexual telepathic energy. Okay. S people are really literally mad because it's like you, you've met your twin flame. You have. And if you haven't met your twin flame, you're about to meet them. You're about to see them. You're about to be with them. Your twin flame, your ultimate soulmate whatever resonates with you on your path in your journey okay let's talk a little bit more about that so yes telepathy is our first language you know we all we all know this already who's this person Ooh, this person that's coming in let me tell you they are they listen this person is low-key obsessed and they're not going to have or stand for anybody talking crazy to you, anyone, anyone trying to come close to you, anyone trying to come near you. They already feel, they already feel as though you are spiritually married to them. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yes. you cannot make this stuff up it's written in the stars this is a love that's meant to be especially if you are single or you're going through a rough patch with someone that you really truly care about right this is your person 
And maybe you've had to, I'm getting the sense that maybe you or this person had to let someone else go in order to be together, but it's written in the stars. Because you have such a kindred soul connection to this person. Just make sure that whatever you're detaching from, whatever you're releasing, whatever is negative, lower vibrational frequencies, friends, make sure that you allow the universe to... The universe, God, whatever makes you feel comfortable. Make sure you, are, you allow this natural karmic energy, this natural justice... Um, energy so could be dealing with the cancer pisces scorpio leo really strong libra energy as well could be any sign um the fibonacci spiral is sticking out to me so maybe this person works in the medical field or something like that allow allow your ancestors because they're backing you up like crazy you can't see them but they are and some of them are angry I'm getting some of your ancestors are like, bitch, please try it again. Try one more time and watch and see what I do. Watch and see. <laughs> Look at this nine of cups right here. You were literally on someone's mind 24-7, nine of cups. And your wish fulfillment is granted on the other side. Well, there it is right there again, you know. You're like an angel to this person. Yes. And yeah, I'm definitely getting the the ancestors. They're coming through this reading real hard, okay? And they're like, I wish I wish a, I wish you would. Right? I wish you would. I know my spirit guys are like that. They crazy. I'd be like, "You know what? <laughs> I didn't do nothing. I don't know what, what I, just be careful." Be careful. Be careful. Whoever has been trying to come in between you and your person, they're about to get straight up served. Mad crazy justice. Someone's going to be missing out on an opportunity when it comes to love just because they tried to come between you and yours. That is a specific message for some of you. Your cup, where it was like depleted before, where your energy was depleted in the past. I normally don't take these this deck. I don't necessarily read this in reverse, but I am going to take this card because I felt like this was a confirmation of the energy that your haters are in, that these, these people who you're triggering, this, this opposition type of energy, it's real. It's a real, actual, real thing. And it's just because it's like they don't necessarily want to see you win. It's like when they see you winning, when they see you happy, when they see you like being successful, it makes them feel like their cup isn't being full, right? Make sure you don't give too much. Don't give too much of your energy. Don't give too much of your time to these people because they don't deserve it. And they will definitely cause you to have some sort of emotional stumbling block. And, you know, you want to stay right inside the vortex. Really strong Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy coming through. I'm seeing Gemini energy coming through. Let's see. Mm, Aries coming through. Oh, see, you can't make it up. Okay. Their life is literally being put on pause. Like, you... you I'm sorry to say, I'm sorry to say, and it might be time for you to start giving to yourself the way that you give to others, but their, their energy, their whole vibe is being put on pause and it's because they tried to play you and it's like, you really can't play. It's like the devil against the ancestors. It's not going to work. Dark forces against the ancestors. It's not going to work. Someone's being taken down and not even... <coughs> I'm not even gonna say it. I don't wanna I don't wanna keep like being like super redundant, but nothing's gonna come in between this. Nothing's gonna stop this connection, not even the devil himself. The devil is like the devil doesn't even see you coming. You know, 
it, they just don't capricorn energy coming through and it's because of your optimistic general long-term optimistic attitude towards life if you feel that you haven't been optimistic and you're just getting blessed out of nowhere it's because of some sort of work that you've done in a past life okay you're on the right path is what i'm hearing you're headed in the right direction you don't need to pay attention to the foolery you don't need to focus on what you want focus on your desires focus on what you know that you have manifested this hard work that you've put in someone has put in a lot of work and it's like in the middle of you working so hard someone comes along and they just like kind of shit on your work you know they throw you off of your vibe your creative energy has been stunted in the past but it's just like damn <laughs> you put your guards up you said no and you resisted some sort of temptation yes that's what i'm getting some sort of temptation i don't know if this was in infidelity i don't know if this was just like you made a vow to yourself that you're gonna be celibate or something like that you know i'm gonna maybe you made some sort of vow that you know you're gonna figure things out on your own you're gonna be independent whatever this sacri self-sacrifice that you've made it's literally building massive massive protection shields of protection around you and it's bringing you towards this <laughs> oh my goodness victory okay with the six of wands it is and it's been tough you know it's been a bloody battle it's been <laughs> it's not been so fun you know you've had to make really quick decisions that might have hurt you know some of your closest friends and some of your family but it's like it was for it was for the greater good you know you had to like disappoint some people to get to this level because some people they just don't recognize they don't recognize a good thing when it's staring them in the face they just don't see it you know some people will always miss out on their blessings but not you you can see the end of a war you can see an end of a battle before it even begins it's like you you already know you have this strong will and this strong mindset and you're being commended from the universe for being in this energy please ignore the bs because that ship has sailed. It's like, it's literally over with. And you can go home now, right? You can go home. Yeah, some people just won't, they won't, they won't recognize, they won't recognize this happening. Yeah, some of you are definitely ready to find a home to just feel safe within your, with, with, and whole within your spirit. After a ton of spiritual warfare that you've been dealing with i know but guess what the universe got you your ancestor spirit guys got you and they're sending you so much love so much encouragement taurus energy libra energy we got the inference card okay and we got the six of wands this battle might seem like it was like really long and it was tough but the way that you showed up and the way that you showed out for your people, for your family, for yourself. You're just being seen in such a high spiritual regard. And I am seeing you being crowned as the Empress, okay? Which is the queen of all queens. Doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine watching this, you are the pinnacle of, you know, where we all wanna be in life, right? We want to have it all. So. If you have success and you don't have love, you're about to have love and success. If you have love, but you're not successful, then you're about to have success and love, okay? It's coming for you because of your determination, because of your self-love, because you respect yourself so much, because you poured so much energy in to avoiding toxic situations and toxic people 
and I don't think that it's easy. I don't think so because sometimes when someone's like overlooking you or they're not paying you, it's hard to feel like you have some sort, something, you have something to give or something to share with people that, that aren't receiving your message. That they're just not in alignment with you. There's so much alignment coming, coming through for you. There's so much appreciation coming through for you. And this is not something that, I mean, to other people, it's going to seem like, oh, maybe you did something toxic to receive this sort of respect, this type of relationship. But who cares? Like I said, the ancestors, I'm hearing that really strong. The angels and the spirit guides, they're going to fuck them up. So if they try to come for you, I'm, I'm very sorry. It's, it's not going to be easy. So you've overcome that and look, look what you have found. Look at this. Look at this perfect alignment that you are creating within yourself and also with a romantic partner. I'm definitely getting somebody wants to tell you something. Someone has something to say to you. I'm definitely going to pull some cards and see what kind of love messages want to come through for this person. Because we have the emperor, we have the empress, we have the divine masculine and divine feminine in the same reading. Somebody's crazy about you and I do see this as some sort of declaration of love. So if you've been wondering where are they? Who are they? Are they coming? They're on their way. They're coming in. And if you've been wondering, like, can you fix this situation? Can you work things out with them? Are things going to work out with them? I think you guys are going to end up being on the same page. As long as you really see yourself as this royal high priestess, this royal empress, as long as you're seeing yourself as this royal emperor, you're really walking in your truth and living in your truth. This energy cannot be denied. It cannot be duplicated. And this is why people are envying you. This is why people are, you know, they're jealous of your success. They're jealous because you're able to find your soulmate like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, who can find their soulmate just like that? You. Who can manifest their desires just like that? You. It might seem like that to other people maybe you went through so much more but just know don't feed in to the unnecessary drama okay keep your keep your eyes open keep your eyes on your person okay let's just see what they want to say to you right now take what resonates leave what doesn't and let me know what your intuition is telling you about this reading some of you could be seeing 1818 18. see what i'm saying don't play with me someone definitely feels like they're your twin flame and that was my whole point i think i said that in the beginning of the reading and they also want to say this was a hard lesson this was a hard lesson i needed to learn i was out of control i was out of control I don't know what they did, but you can let me know down in the comments. This feels like a betrayal. This feels like a runner, ch runner chaser. All right. This this feels like someone having a solid abandonment issues. Okay. Um. This was a hard lesson. <laughs> I needed to learn. You took your power back. And that's what they had to learn. What else do they have to say? See, karmic partner interference. I'm hearing she ain't you. He ain't you. Someone needed to learn that. This job is not you. Okay? Someone had to learn that putting their job before you putting their friends putting their family putting them putting someone else before you was a huge mistake and they realize that now 
they realize that in a major way. Some of you could definitely be seeing signs and synchronicities about this person, seeing their name, hearing their name, dreaming about them. They're definitely dreaming about you as well. Let's see what else they want to say. Your connection is real. Whatever else they was doing is fake. I didn't feel like you're, I was on your level. You're a boss. I'm very insecure. This person could definitely feel insecure. Just, I mean, one of, one of you are definitely way more financially stable, okay? This could even be your energy coming through as well. But just know that, that that's still karmic partner interference. Because karmic partners, to me, interference, it's kind of giving, like, societal expectations okay you know um let's just get one more one more and see this could even be spiritually spiritually this person gonna feel like yeah they might have wealth or they might be doing great you know financially and successfully on paper but it's like their spirit their spiritual growth was not on your level hello okay so they need to level up okay i'm done i'm not pulling any more cards i'm going to put a ring on it when the time is right okay so maybe that's your wish fulfillment maybe some of you really want to be in union with your twin flame maybe some of you want to be in union with your soulmate maybe some of you want to get married there is someone coming in this person on your mind that maybe you have minimal contact with some contact maybe you have really strong telepathic communication you're going to be receiving more of that because this is the end okay i live in the end in my readings i live in the end okay so you should too all right live in the end get what you want that's the wave that's the vibe i'm going to put a ring on it when the time is right i'm done that's your wish fulfillment i'm done thanks again for watching so foolish girl I will see you in your next reading. Namaste.